everyone this is real estate chat where we discuss everything that is to do with the real estate sector we look from real estate investment real estate development uh real estate trends locally regionally and internationally so don't forget to subscribe on our channel real estate chat where you can get to work with the most important information and current information concerning the real estate sector so today we are looking at buying a property in zimbabwe the buyer's guide to a deed say so that you'll be able to legally acquire a property in zimbabwe you also this is very important before you consider buying a property you just need to visit the deeds registry or to do it online so that you make sure the property that you want to invest in it exists and it's worth it most importantly it's being sold to you by the rightful owner and then you don't become a victim to these land barons you also don't become a victim of double sales or buying a disease instead that is still under legal discipline and you understand it the the rights of the property that are issues of mortgages, uh, easements, covenants, and issues that is to do with compulsory accusation. So, if you want to do it physically, you go. You need to go to the deeds registry. There are only two offices in Zimbabwe: the one in Arari, Central House East, 38 Nelson Mandela Avenue, and the other one in Blawayo, Trade God Building, second floor, room 222, Fourth Street corner first street and lepo tagawira when you get there you need to report to the information desk where you find the personnel ready to assist you inform them that you'd want to conduct a search give the assistant the name of the person and the company that currently owns the property and the name is run through the database for confirmation once the name has been confirmed by the assistant who give you the register title deed number which is unique to a particular property uh, to a particular title deed of a particular property you will then be required to write down the title deed number on the search book and proceed to go to the deeds banking hall where you are required where you pay a fee of one dollar uh, for the transaction and be given a receipt. Meanwhile, the assistant will go through the file in the file room and will go to the file room for a search while least you are waiting in the search room. Once the deed has been located, you will be notified and asked to produce a receipt to the police officer in the room and the title will then be handed to you. Then the title deed you are searching for yes, it's a, it's a, in, it will be in a large bound book which you need to use the title deed number provided to find a particular deed you require. The deed will have important information which will be useful to you including who the registered owner is when the property was transferred, reason the property was transferred, the amount the property was transferred for, the signature and the official seal of the registrar authenticating the seal and the full description of the property which will state where the property is physically located, the size of the property, whether there are any building conditions attached to the property. Remember I've alluded earlier on the issues of easement, the issues of covenants, the issues of mortgages, the issues of composite acquisition. You are not supposed to purchase the, the property that is under a notice of composite accusation is not supposed to be sold. A property that is under a mortgage is not supposed to be sold. So you need to get your with the important information. This exercise will help you in confirming your choice to invest in a particular property. Where you come across information on a title deed uh, that you are not unsure of, you need always to, to get out of your conveyancer or get assisted. Remember the title deeds are legal documents. They are written in a legal way, in a legal format. So information might be difficult to comprehend. And once you are satisfied with the information obtained from the search, you get to hold with your lawyer, your convincer, so that they'll assist you in processing acquiring the property. And then if you want to do it the online way, maybe you don't stay in Arari, you don't stay in Bulawayo, you are somewhere far from Arari, or you are in the diaspora, but you want to invest in a property in Zimbabwe so that you don't fall victims to the land barons, you don't fall victim to the proper fraud land that is hitting all over. And a lot of the diasporians, they've lost a, a, such huge amounts of money to these land barons. So you can do it on a tablet, you can do it on a computer, you can do it anywhere. Just log into the Zim Connect platform. <clears throat> and then there are choices that you need to follow the the registration choices um the options that will be there on that pro platform the zim connect and then if you are not registered you need to register and then log in if you are registered you just need to log in and then you'll be directed to make a payment after making a payment you'll be redirected to the re page and then proceed in searching a deed when you are searching for a deed either you use the deed number you use the property name the, the the name of the owner or the description of the property so you also need to do this information to do all this so that you don't fall victim to be forewarned is 
to be forearmed. Uh, so this was it for today. I will see you in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe on our channel. Re-estate chat. Cheers.